All right, welcome back homesteaders. So we're back here at the fencing. I put up one panel here uh, by the property stake because I found another property stake. And then one of the great things that happened was uh, the previous owner, owner put stakes in. So I can go straight down this line and I took a string line and attached to different uh, stakes that he already had put in and then used a compass. And if it had to be uh, niched, you know, a couple inches left, a couple inches to right to be on the um, compass reading, that's what I did. So I got the fence all the way down to there. And basically what I would like to do is br attach to the fence here and go along the driveway down like this all the way to the creek bed finish running in that property line to the creek bed and then across the bottom of that hill inside the creek bed i want to attach this fence to this fence so that way this whole entire pizza pie looking slice this gigantic triangle will be where the goats the pigs and the dogs will be at that way they have tons of area to eat down all this growth. You can see it's really tall. It's about, uh, I want to say about 10 inches in some spots. Uh, some of the clusters of weeds are over a foot tall. And then, of course, bushes that come up and things like that. And by having the fence line go all the way down to the creek bed, I have two benefits. One... If they poop or pee in the water, it doesn't go into the pond. So that helps to keep the pond from being uh, contaminated or polluted with feces and urine. And two, I don't have to water the animals anymore. And that's why anybody I've talked to in comments or private emails or Facebook, I, I've been telling everybody, if you get property with water, make sure you have some type of surface water. Because all that surface water doesn't need a pump to pull it out the ground. You don't need electricity for the pump to pull it out the ground. Or if you've got a non-electric pump, you don't have to sit there and pump it with your arms. So the animals can come down anytime they want, get a drink of water. Year round, I don't have to water them. Winter time, I'll have to figure something out, but we'll get to that later. But anyhow, I just made a temporary pen right now to put the animals in when I bring them over. But it basically will go there, across the face of that, up to the property line, and up this line. And there have all this space to roam. And then, of course, once I move on the property and uh, the days that I'm here with the animals, they can go ahead and roam the whole hillside all the way down and around and get whatever they want. So that's what we're going to be working on this upcoming week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Live happy, live free, that's the only way to be.